Martin Lawrence, I'm a big fan of Martin Lawrence, man. No matter what he does, I've always been a fan. So Martin Lawrence, he, he got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Man, so hey, man, man, back at you once again, man. This is news you can use, man. Boss Talk 101, um, check it, man, is in the building, man. Just uh, a couple of things I wanna just key in on uh, for the, uh, uh, this weekend, man, uh, this weekend, great weekend, man. A uh, couple of things that I've seen was that was so just dope martin lawrence i'm a big fan of martin lawrence man no matter what he does i've always been a fan so martin lawrence he he got his star on the hollywood walk of fame and uh i can't believe it man uh they waited this long i feel like he should have been had a star on the hollywood walk of fame uh what do you guys think um this guy's uh, done more work than a lot of people have done. You gotta think about it, in the 90s, there was nothing else playing, man. So when I seen it, I was excited about it because I know already this guy right here is just phenomenal when it come down to what he does and I love to see him in action. So I'm, a, I'm one of his number one fans. So this was easy for me to talk about this subject. When you think about Martin Lawrence, you think about, man, all of the things that he done. I look up like Blue Streak or, or, or that security movie. What's that security movie called? A national security or something like that. But um, just a lot of people. Lynn Whitfield, I think out of all of the speeches, hers because, it, Mar of course, Steve Harvey is a speaker anyway but at at this uh hollywood walk of fame this store listen man she did a great job lynn whitfield i hadn't seen her in a minute uh she had a nice look on uh she you know hey we getting older man tell you you are in the stars in the heavens but she definitely is a uh one of those ones that for our women, man, she stepped up to play that. She just showed Martin so much genuine love, man. I believe there's a few more people there that I've seen in the crowd, like Tashina Arnold, um, D-Ray, uh, Michael Blackston. Uh, there was people there uh, that didn't speak, but Steve Harvey spoke. Um, they was out of the country or something weeks prior or something, you know, talking that money talk. Wardrobe people job. That show was black from the front of the time your ass came through that gate to the back. You know, uh, and he, one thing that stuck out to me that Steve said about uh, something that happened before with Cedric the Entertainer, he was like, Cedric was one that he didn't get to make and he wished he had a made. I thought that was noble of him because him and Cedric has done so much work together. But when you look at um, just uh, who, what he said about Martin, man, Martin is that guy. He did bring these guys out. If it wasn't for him, when you look at all those Def Jams and all the stuff that in the comic world, comedians, he's a guy that you have to respect. He he acknowledged, he acknowledged the fact that he kept it rolling when you had comics that wasn't even that good. Martin is that guy, and that's that's what makes him Martin. But I love Martin. He's humble, man. When he's not in character or on stage, he's so laid back, you wouldn't even know that was him. And I know that's a real place for him because when you go back and look on what's happening now I remember seeing him on what's happening now and he was just working in a restaurant and he was so low-key that may have been one of his first roles if you go back and look at it but I want to also uh, key in on the fact of Tracy Morgan Tracy rich as hell now so Tracy but but Tracy didn't forget Martin and what Martin did for him and how he, he big up him as his mentor his OG Yo, bust it. You know, you can't be mad at that, man. This guy did what he did. Uh, and he, even though he's, these guys are in different places now, he didn't forget where he came from. He spoke up for more, and I love to see black excellence. I love to see my people come together, man. I just thought that was so courageous. So shout out, big ups to Martin, man. I'm gonna be posting stuff that kinda, you know, celebrates and congratulates. I did one post it tonight about, uh, 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 Instagram last night, then this morning. I'm doing more posts all week long. I'll be doing posts. Um, next thing I want to talk about is that boy, uh, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis Tank. This guy, man, is something else. He done hit this boy with a body shot. He's been able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by Garcia. And now, oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. 
Ryan, man, Ryan, listen, Garcia could not handle that boy. Ryan Garcia, uh, he came out like he wanted to fight. Uh, but when he got out there, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 he came, but he wasn't ready. You know, a lot of times you see all this big talk before the fight, and that boy went down, man. I think he knocked him down in the second round. Uh, Quick uppercut, Ryan's going for the hook. Devontae looked good all through the rounds, all the way up to the six. He was looking okay, but in that seventh round, I think he caught him with a body shot. And it's almost like, I'm like, dang, did they pay this fight off? Because the boy didn't even react. He went down. I'm like, he can't get up. I mean, this dude seemed to me like he still was looking good. He had a little blood run out of his nose. But, hey, I'm just saying, man, you come out there to fight and you got money on the line. They paying these guys good money. I think a lot of times that pay way in on everything that's going down. So, man, when you look at this guy, man, he looked like he was ready to fight. He come out, they talking that talk, they barking at each other. But the noble thing was after the fight, they still seem to be really like professional, show love to each other, talked. That's what it's all about, guys, sportsmanship. Good sportsmanship. These guys did a good job. So I hope you guys enjoyed that fight this weekend. Hey, right, man, it was live, man. Listen, man. Check it, man. Like I said, we're going to be checking in on subjects. So, hey, man, be ready. You, you'll obviously see anybody's subject come up on this uh, format. I built this to talk about different things that are actually happening, happening in real time, actually going down right now. So the next thing I want to talk about is our interview. We had an interview with AD, man, AD and Smack, uh, the ones who left No Jumper. Uh, if you remember, uh, Boss Talk 101 early on with Charleston White, we uh, had a difference with uh, those guys, and they called us the Black Podcast. And then the motherfuckers who podcast you went on, who's also black people, you over there saying, oh yeah, this y'all niggas are talking too. Me and AD got to talk about that, why he said that, and him, you know, who started this, was it us or was it them when he said he set Charleston White up? Because I said, at the time, I'm, I'm going back and forth, I'm watching the interviews it's and hard, stuff, it's hard. and I'm like, oh yeah, they, they low-key throwing shots at me, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? We talked about all this stuff. Uh, we sat down with this guy. These guys are live, man. These guys had me laugh and smack. Dope. He's very humble. Look young, but the dude is a little older than what he looked. But just a humble dude. Those, those two guys were so respectful to me and Boss Talk 101, my wife. Like, those guys showed up, professionally showed up early. Um, came, did the interview, sat down with us. Uh, we had a great time. They, they flew in. We done the interview. Um, AD is a, like a stand-up guy, a family man, one guy that we'll always have a relationship with. We're gonna be doing further interviews with those guys. We've already set it up. It's just love, man. Like I said, uh, like I said, I got to meet Smack. The new, you know. Uh, Fig uh, immunity. This this whole thing that they're doing is y'all got to go check them out, man. Them guys got a hell of a platform. T Rail, shout out. I'm shouting out all them boys, man, because they like I said they they they, they stand up guys, professional guys, and um, I just enjoyed sitting down talking with them, man. And I can't wait for you guys to see the interviews. I'm gonna start clipping it out. You guys see clips of it. If you're a member uh, on YouTube, you can go check us out on membership, or you may even can see it on Patreon our Patreon page early, but anytime we do these interviews, we, we straight shooting them to uh, membership and Patreon. Membership on YouTube, Patreon, we got a channel that where you can look at this stuff early. So if you see the clips, don't frustrate yourself, just go get a membership from us, and it's all love, man. We putting in the work, like I said, the algorithm, make sure you share our stuff. They're not, YouTube's not, not showing all of our videos to everybody, so we have to get you guys to share and like and subscribe to our videos. So I thank you guys, man. This is the news you can use, man. Another great segment of the news you can use. This is our second episode on this, man. Let me know how you like it, man. Get in the comments. Start talking about what's going on with all the stuff that happened. Tell us what you'd like for us to cover on this channel. Uh, you'll see me. You'll see Miss Jamaica. You may see Money Moses on, on the news you can use. Um, just the whole team, man. We're going to be uh, working the platform, making sure you guys get all the information uh, that you need. Um, anything you guys got make sure you like and subscribe comment and we'll get back with you make sure you follow our Instagram page as well make sure you follow uh, our Facebook page all of them is Boss Talk uh, uh, Podcast 101 Boss Talk 101 Podcast you can look us up 
man, hey, man, we appreciate all of you guys, man. Been another segment of news you can use, man. Thank you guys for tapping in. I'll see you next time.